So this is um, going to let you see something we've been doing with Google, Google Earth, Google SketchUp, and um, the Unreal Development Kit. So I'm going to zoom in onto the Tower of London. And as you know, Google Earth has a number of 3D models in it. And um, these models are available on the Google 3D Warehouse. So from the warehouse, we can download the particular model, save it to the computer, and we can actually import that and retexture it in the Unreal Development Kit, which you can see now. So this is the model be that's being loaded here. So wouldn't it be great if we can play a game in this Tower of London? So here we are, we using a, a first-person view. We can wander around. Uh, there's a spaceship. I wonder if we can... I think we can actually go into the spaceship and fly around it. Now, from this view up here, we can look at all the, the architecture. We can see how the fortifications have been put together. Um, and uh, let's l land in the central tower here. And we can see the view that it gives you of the whole area. So this actually puts in context the architecture that we've got for this particular set of buildings. But it's actually a, an exciting way to see it. Now, using the Unreal, Unreal Development Kit, our learners can put together levels for a variety of different games that are professional, that are of the highest quality. For example, this level here, this was put together using all the assets that are in-game. So it was put together using um, cubes and so on that are actually part of the game engine. So this takes a third-person view, so we just stand behind the robot. We can wander around and move around in the environment and interact with it use the gates and so on. Now with enough time, you can actually create, using the in-game assets, you can create this environment. And let's have a look at this. Just wander through this in the, in the spectator mode. So there will be automated pl players in the game flying around and so on. But we'll just look at the lighting and the, the way that it shades the different areas. It, it's fantastic. And this is tremendously exciting for our young people when they look at it and realize that they can produce this using just the assets that are within this game. It's just, it's absolutely breathtaking what you can do with this, these particular tools. And the Unreal Development Kit is one of a number of free tools that are available now and free.